I think that what I'd, I'd like to suggest then um, is that we talk about a couple of the specific issues that Hal brought up relative to a COPA implementation, and then we kind of broaden that into, you know, um, what what else you're looking for as far as um, learning opportunities or mastering the system or kind of taking on all of or more of management accounting, that great big uh, scary thing called CO, right? Does that sound okay, guys? Okay, thanks. So, Hal, you mentioned um, reconciliation as, as an issue, a concern that you have as you've heard discussion about account-based versus cost-based um, COPA specifically. Mm -hmm. So again, account-based COPA is going to reconcile to financial accounting completely because it gets its postings from financial accounting, and they're all at the same time. Okay. So the limitation that you have in account-based COPA um, without HANA is that you can't uh, break down fixed and variable costs to get that kind of contribution margin reporting that I had in an example in my presentation. So if your organization is not the manufacturer of the goods, that may not be an issue. You may be quite happy with account-based COPA. You can still slice and dice your data by customer, by region, by product, by whatever characteristic you, you have set up in, in COPA. Um, but the thing you wouldn't have is that valuation that I mentioned, where we can bring in a material cost estimate and take all of the cost components and map them to different value fields and get more granularity. So again, if you're not the manufacturer of a product, then account-based COPA might be uh, all you need. It might do the trick for you. If you don't need to uh, calculate those accrued commissions that I mentioned or accrued freight, then again, account-based COPA might absolutely meet your needs.